Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna have some fun with the cheapest fuzzes I could find on Amazon. Uh, at least the ones that looked interesting to me anyways, because there's a lot of cheap fuzzes on Amazon. Uh, first of all, we've got the Pi Fuzz here, or PN. I'm not sure if they're trying to do a Pi symbol there. Uh, this is the cheapest one at $17.09. Uh, next up is this Azor. Uh, this thing was 20 bucks even, or 19.99. It says it's by K-Line Technology here on the side. And then the most expensive one. I'm really breaking the bank with this one. Uh, I think this was 27 bucks, maybe 28 bucks, 28.99, 27.99, something like that. The Arl Dream Purely Fuzz effects pedal. So let's get to it. I want to see these things. You want to hear them. Let's open up the Azure first. Sort of a business card. <laughs> Little yellow guy here. Does it come with instructions? No, these are Velcro or rubber pads for the bottom. That's interesting. Custom size Velcro. Not bad for 20 bucks, right? Get some Velcro with that. Little two knob deal here, level and fuzz. I mean, that's all you need. I wonder if this is like a fuzz face sort of thing. Kind of neat that it's a, you know, a unique custom case. It's not the standard little fingerling case. It's its own design with that box. Next up, this P fuzz, P N fuzz, Pi fuzz, P, P Pi. Is that what's going on there? A P and a pie, so it's a papai. This is the papai fuzz. Twi note is the brand. How does it open? I didn't know I ordered a puzzle box. My gut, okay, there it goes, it finally released. All right, difficult box. For being the cheapest one, it sure does have a lot of knobs on here. Four knobs, that's a lot for a fuzz usually. Uh, it's because you get a scoop knob. Level, gain, tone, those are all normal. Then a scoop. I'm interested to hear this. I'm assuming it's a big muff. With some sort of mid control with that scoop. All right, next up, the effects pedal. This will be the Arl Dream, purely fuzz. No serial number, Arl Dream Limited. Do not throw in the trash can. Oh, it comes with a little extra guy here. I'm assuming that means it doesn't have a battery jack inside, which is normal these days. And they include this for people who insist on using a nine volt. I'll add this to, you know, my box of ins and outs and whatnot. So this is interesting, a three knob fuzz fuzz, tone, volume, and then LED, or I'm assuming silicone clipping on this. All right, let's get them set up, play through these things, see what they sound like, hear what they sound like. We can't see what they sound like, obviously. I don't know if I did it on purpose, but I've got all primary colors here. Yellow, red, blue. Very uh, preschool look going on here with this fuzz collection. Uh, I always hate it when they put the power jack here on the lower side. Top jack is the best, in my opinion. Top side is all right. But on that lower side, just under the jack there, that's annoying. All right, we're all set up. I've got my Squire Bolt Mustang here loaded with humbuckers. Let's check out the Azor first. Let's see what it sounds like. Fingers crossed, is this gonna be my new favorite fuzz? <laughs> it's really, really quiet. Even with the level all the way up, it's below Unity right now. 
like well below unity. Let's dime the fuzz. I gotta say, I like the grit to it. I like that like 60s Velcro sound. I just wish it had more output. I, like if this had way more output to it, I'd be in love with this fuzz right now because I really like that fuzz sound. Check out the range of the fuzz control. Turn it all the way down. comes alive right about there. They shouldn't have put knobs on this. They should have just dimed both settings and, you know, not drilled holes, just left it just a single foot switch. No, they should have left a volume knob, but have it you know, give you more power, give you more output, because this would be a great sounding like 60s Velcro fuzz if it just had more output. Next up, let's hit the papai fuzz, the pie fuzz. <laughs> this is the cheapest fuzz on Amazon, $17.09. After this one at, at $20, I think, and this has twice the knobs, I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't have the output issues that this one has. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, it's loud already. It sounds heavy. I haven't even dialed it in yet. Definitely not the 60s Velcro ripping uh, style fuzz of the Azor. Totally into like a 90s muff sort of sound. Tons of headroom on the level control. You can get way above unity with that. Uh, let's dime the gain. This is a $17 fuzz off of Amazon.
kind of can't believe this thing. 17 bucks. It sounds huge. All the knobs have a really nice smooth blend across them. There's no jumps or weird little quirks to it. This is a great pedal for 17 bucks. This is a great pedal for a hundred bucks. Like if I was blind testing this right now, I wouldn't be able to tell you if this was a bargain bin pedal off of Amazon or, you know, something that some, you know, boutique or well-named brand had put together. It sounds huge. Lots of versatility across the scoop and the tone controls and the gain control. Tons of headroom. I might have to get more stuff from Twin Note. Or Twee Note. I don't know. I don't know how they, how they want me to read their name. Jeez. All right, I, right off the bat, I can recommend this pedal. That's pretty dang cool. All right, our old dream. <laughs> You've got a lot to live up to now. You've got the low output. Velcro. Just a great, great pedal at 17 bucks. You gotta go against the papai. Oral dream. What have you got, buddy? Are you gonna surprise me or are you gonna let me down? This is the most expensive one at 27 bucks. And this is like the sound I was expecting out of like a cheap, cheap pedal. I'm kind of out of tune. Let's tune. This is on the silicone setting. That's weird. It has this almost like tube screamer fizziness. Like there's this fizziness right below your main signal. And it's just kind of muddy and dark. Even with the tone all the way up, there's like a muddy dark quality to it. Feels more like an overdrive distortion sort of thing. Let's check out the LED setting. Way more output, that's for sure. It doesn't have that fizziness, like that tube screamer quality. I don't know, there's something about it that's not connecting with me. I mean, it sounds all right on the LED with the tone and the fuzz dime. To me, it feels like there's something not great about the tone stack, and that's affecting the whole thing. When you have it wide open, it sounds like what you'd expect from a really bright, wide open fuzz. But there's something about that tone stack circuit that is just killing the signal. It's just the wrong kind of mud for 
like a muff style pedal. <laughs> It sounds like it's burying it instead of shifting the tonality. All right, well, we've tried them all easily. The Popeye is the winner. $17 is the cheapest, widest range of usable tones. It, usable tones across the range of every knob on here. Sounds huge, just huge. Like I said, I. You could trick me with this. I wouldn't be able to tell you what price point it was, but I would be guessing a lot higher if I was trying this thing blind. That's a keeper. And then the Azor comes in second just because I like that Velcro fuzz. But man, low, low output. And then this thing, I don't, I don't see a place in it in my collection. I don't want it. I mean, it's fine wide open like that. But I have other pedals that sound way better, wide open and super bright. Why would I want something that sounds fine, super bright, but not good with the tone rolled back at all? So yeah, winner, second place, third place. The cheapest one is the winner. That is ridiculous. I'll have links for these down below. Uh, you can tell me if you thought I was wrong about one of them, or maybe you've got one that's better and I got a dud or something like that. I mean, at these price points, quality control issues are bound to happen, uh, but man, I can't argue with that. That's good stuff. All right, thanks for watching. I'm gonna turn them all on now. Stay grounded. I'll see you guys later.